Hello, welcome to Chief Workshop. Visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, look for the link in the description where you'll find uh, a free mini course in that link. And uh, well worth your while. So let's get started. That's what's going on. Put a bay there, store our stuff there, create some dormers for some headroom. Up there. Let's turn these into center lines. Center line one, center line two, use our object to uh, make that, and now we got two center lines there, turn that off, you can see that there's the center line, that's what that'll look like, that's the, that's the center line of our dormers are now going to be the center line of the doors as well. Okay, let's place a shed dormer onto the storage loft. We are going to go to the build roof menu, find the auto floating dormer, no, the auto dormer. Yes, no, the auto floating dormer. This is the one we want. And we will pop it there. And let's just pop it there, it defaults to the gable. And now we'll edit that dormer. And we want it to be a shed roof. And we experimented the 312 with the current configuration did not work. We had to go to a 2.5 because uh, the geometry, this, we tried 312, it went past here. And that dog doesn't fit. Change the slope of the roof and it'll be fine. So we went to 2.5, 12 which is fine, pushing the limits of the shingle, but that's fine. Um, and we want it to be 12 feet wide. And it'll look something like that. And oh, we want it to be a shed, not a gable. Whoa, hey, shed. And then that'll look like that. Hmm. Let's check our variables here, see what happened. Uh, defaulted to the three, see what happened with that three? What happens with that three, it it's either goes here, or you try to push it back, it will not let you push back that ridge. That's as high as that ridge goes, which forces this wall out. So that means we gotta change the pitch of the roof. Now if we change it to 2.5, now that, that dog looks like that. And we can then take our dormer edge and line it up from the wall below. And now we've got a dormer that fits. And it looks something like that. And we're going to have to change our windows, edit our windows, so that they work. And uh, the sighting from below is popping up. and uh, we're going to make them all the same. So let's do that. Start with this window. Yeah, let's take a section and see if that's what we really want to do. Let's take a section and see what that looks like. Floor plan. We got this section, we got that. Let's see what this section looks like. All right, that window is popping up there. Let's see, uh, we got six, nine, yeah. Oh man, no, we're fine. We should just drop this sucker down. Or, you know, just put it down. We're gonna be fine. Let's drop it down. Yeah, see, there we go, whoa. Five and a half inches, we're gonna use a five and a half inch roof panel, prefabricated insulated roof panel. That'll go there, and we're going to have to find a way to support that, but uh, that'll be another video. 
So I clicked on the window from floor, floor to top, 57, but that's not right. It's That is not really what's happening here. That's not the elevation reference from the floor. Uh, let's say we want to drop it down. Where are we? Let's see. We're right about there. We want to drop down to here. And if that's 48, it's about 2 feet. We want to drop down about 2 feet. And if we drop down about 2 feet, there's our 610 line. That's 69 and 7 eighths. 610 and 68, you know, which is about where our window line should be. So let's drop it 2 feet. If this is saying floor to top, 57, 7 eighths. 57 minus 24 would be hello 3 space uh, 3 33 and 7 eighths I believe let's see what that looks like we dropped it and that's a tall window too do we want the window that high um, maybe we just want about a 48 inch window and we don't like the way that window looks either um, let's see we're gonna have to pick one uh, let's go with a double casement or a triple casement yeah triple casements fine triple double would be better all right chiefer we could use a triple double all right so that's dropping there there it is six nine it's our window line from the floor even though this is finding some bizarre line that I'm not that worried about could be the the intersection point here is what it's measuring but as long as I know that I have 610 yeah 68610 here let's see what that looks like and that should clean that up there once we well that's the window from the other dormer so let's take a peek at what's going on there. That's that window there. That's a lot of window. We don't want them that big. We're designing on the fly here. So maybe we will put a double casement on there. Or we don't need to make them. Let's go 36. See what that proportion looks like. That feels better. That's feeling pretty good like it. Let's just stick to that. Yeah. Feeling better. 36. Um, 34. Uh, triple casement. And we are good. Got that guy there. Got the dormers in something weird something's going on here let's see what this doesn't oh this did we slide that dormer hope so they look a little different 33 and 7 eighths that's the window the window's okay what's going on with this dormer yes that's the dormer two and a half I got a feeling this this is not. I don't know. Let's take a peek. Let's rotate around a little bit. Make sure we're just an ah just an optical illusion. Jeez, that's looking cute. And. Okay, let's clean this thing up. We've got the uh, 3D dormers there. I think they're looking nice. I think proportionally they look uh, acceptable. And uh, so let's clean them up. Uh, let's start by changing the siding with this guy. And just working our way around. I'm not that concerned about the trim board at this point. All right, let's get 
Okay, we've got the siding changed. Let's edit those windows. Let's pick them up real quick. Shift. Picked two windows. 3D view, triple casement. Materials. Trim exterior. Yeah, the bright's good. Uh, the sash is not good. Slate is not the color we want. The bone would be fine. Let's go to let's see what we got here. I want blue. You would like a white neutral. Almond, no, no, no. Bone. Bone or bright or nice white colors. Let's go with bone. And there we go. Uh, the owner also wants a stucco finish instead of that uh, prefab concrete. The manufacturer offers offers a stucco finish that you can paint, and he happens to be a painting contractor, so he will do that. So let's uh, cancel. Let's pick that wall tab. There's that wall surface. Let's edit materials. Concrete instead of concrete. Let's go with a stucco board of some sort. Let's see what we got here in X10 for stucco boards. Um, okay, we don't want that. There we go, we got a stucco. A sand. Let's just stick to the beige. Call it a date. And there we go. We'll work our way around and clean it up that way. All right, when we take a peek at the section, um, we're going to need to add a dormer in the back over the stairwell to get our head height so you can get up in there. And it's not going to be a symmetrical dormer as we'll see in the plan. Um, there's where we need the head, head height and even... And here as we go down, you can, from the section, we barely had any any room there. So we're going to have to have some decent head height from somewhere over here to all the way over there. So that almost says we need a dormer that will go from there to there. would look the best aesthetically. So that's what we should do. So let's um, snap a line from here to here. Those are lazy bums. Yes, and we find the midpoint there. So that's where we're going to build that dormer. And then we're going to stretch that guy so that it lines up with this guy here. And it lines up with this guy here. So let's go to build, roof, plane, no roof, uh, auto floating dormer. Pop it in the center. We got our line there. We know it's there. Let's add that dormer defaulting to a gable. Don't want a gable, we want a shed. No, we don't want a gable there. We would like a shed. We know we need to make it two and a half, twelve. And everything else we're gonna keep. And we're gonna hit okay. And it's all beautiful. And it even, we didn't even have to line it up there. It smacked, landed right where we want it to be. After some hemming and hawing, we've decided just to make one big dormer um, at the uh, apex at the top of the landing, and we'll go in there. Pink, pink, pink. There's something wacky about that. Let's rotate around a little bit. Let's take this, paint that, target this, target it there, cleans that up, pick the window, do the bony on bony thing, material, sash, bone is good, interior, we don't want slate, we want another bone, toss me a bone. Color. Mm. 
There we go. We got a bone. And we'll do that there. A little bit more cleanup with the stucco. Actually, we might want to... Concrete texture stays there. We really want it to render in the sand. We really need to pick that wall. Hit the tab key to create the wall surface. Grab the wall surface. I'll hit materials because it's still going to be concrete painted. And that's not what we want. What we want is stucco. So, and we're going to go with the sand finish beige. And now we're going to get rid of that concrete painted look. And that's what it would render as well. We don't want to re we don't want to render with the concrete look. So that's why we had to edit that individual component that way. Click again, and there it is. And when we hit the rendering machine, we should be pretty good. So we'll call that a little, uh, call that a day. Thank you for watching. Remember to visit our website. Uh, where there's a blog which we will upload all the uh, free tutorials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, which also will have uh, the tutorials. Uh, look in the description for a free mini course in Chief Architect. Uh, click on that and take advantage of that. And uh, see you next time.